I'd like to jump into some more discussion about things. When, when, when I talked about Indian music or like modern experiments in, uh, in, in, in scales like Harry Parch's stuff, all those uh, really um, extra notes, uh, they're called uh, microtones, okay? just, so, just so you know what that is. Uh, another thing that I really wanted to catch up on is when I talk about having the uh, the note and then it's overtones. Like that. There's another name for uh, naming besides overtones. That this would be our fundamental note, fundamental, and then this would be. Our first partial. This is the note at the at the octave. First partial, second partial, third partial, fourth partial, fifth partial, sixth partial, and on and on and on. So it's a, just another way of naming things instead of calling them overtones. You can call them partials. Once again, this partial at the three, four, and fifth partial. Is a very very important. Uh, as I said before, this is the universe of major. This, this really discernible little chord that's formed here. Do mi so mi do. We call that the major triad. And so, you know, almost you know, uh, this is the universe of major. It keeps showing up in every sound. And we base everything that we do with music on this particular relationship that's going on here. So the other thing I want to tackle now is, so we have all these uh, partials or overtones that are, you know, really high frequencies. Uh, as I said before, if you take an octave and divide it in half, you end up with your fundamental note. You, you hear the octave as a very closely uh, related note. It's, you know, indiscernible to us. Uh, other than being the same note, except it's just moving a little faster, or if we have it, it's moving a little slower. Have it again, it's four, you know, now it's four times slower than the original vibration that we had, but we still hear it as, as the same note, in, in essence. So now if we take our, uh, our really high partials, you know, like a 300, 500, 700, 900, 1100, and we keep having them and having them and having them, until they fit into our original range that we had. I'm using this as an example. Uh, we had a starting frequency of 100, then we have a, an octave higher at 200, and if we keep bringing those upper partials down by half, by half, by half, what we eventually end up having is something that we call the major scale, and that would be one, uh, you know, those those higher frequencies, I'll just give you a quick example, 300 uh, divided by half is 150, okay, so that fits into our range between 100 and 200, just stick that in there, that becomes one of our notes, so you keep doing that with all the other partials, bringing them down, and you form what's called a major scale. Uh, we give those numbers, those first eight notes, we give them numbers. We just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and eight simply is our octave number. It could also be written as a one with a little line underneath it, meaning we now jump into the next octave, and this is our, our new one. It's an octave higher. 